No kitty.
taking your food. Taking your food. She's taking your food. You're not gonna growl at her this time. Come here. No, nope, kitty. Don't let her have your food or him. claws away. Oh no, I don't think so, ma'am. That's okay. I'll put your food away where she can't have it. Or he. I don't know which cat that is. It's probably... Yeah, it's a he. So, hi Willow. Willow and I are over here by the potting area. <laughs> okay, my dog is like going nuts, you guys. She keeps running all over the place. So, I was thinking she had Chihuahua in her. And there was all these different possibilities for a brindled pug to have mixed in. And they range from Chihuahua, um, Boston Terriers, and I'm trying to remember the other ones, but there's a different group of um, different types. So like French Bulldogs, Boston Terriers, Chihuahuas, so on and so forth, uh, Boxers. These can add in the coloration she had chihuahua in her my husband was kind of thinking she had chihuahua in her now there's a a variety of different dogs that can be bred into the pug line that will create the brindle coat some of which are chihuahuas french bulldogs and boston terriers so on and so forth well she's one of those one of those three that's mixed in with her and so willow has the boston terrier 13.9 percent boston terrier and the 86.1 percent of pug so she's mostly pug one she's a different dog two she just it, there's just little things that was making me think oh there's something different she's she's got something she's very stubborn she chews on everything that so chewing on everything could be a puppy thing but it was just little things 
Nicole's DNA came back. She's not 100% Thank you. 